even you know the iPod. Long before the iPod came came out, uh, Korean small companies you know started making these kind of things. But then you know Apple they they very quick and they picked it up and they they developed it a little bit smaller, a little bit flatter or so, and marketed worldwide. But you know that technology first started to be applied in Korea, you know, even before the iPod. You know. But only then you know. Apple was faster to, to just be first in the market, yeah? the market, yeah. and, and to put it together in design. Yeah? But you know, like the technologies, uh, are now uh, very fa fast in Korea, and um, you know, it, everything you know goes so quickly. Uh, like, of course, the Korean market because Koreans are very early adapter type kind of minded people. You know, something new com comes out, they sh they try it, yeah. And so the average lifespan of a telephone, a handphone in Korea is about six months. Oh. Yeah, everybody changes their phone all the time, all the time. Yeah? And then many people have two or three at the same time. Yeah? And uh, so there comes a new gadget and they just have to change it again. <laughs> 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 uh, so, but that drives the technology. Of course. Okay. Could you say, uh, for the camera, could you say uh, come to Korea in... Oh, yeah. In, uh, welcome Malaysia, yeah. welcome to Korea. Uh, hello Malaysia, you're welcome to Korea. Please come visit us 2010 to 2012. Uh, it's our Visit Korea year and we'll have many surprises for you. Please come. <laughs> On day one. To be fluent. To be fluent, you know, to speak fluently, I think maybe three to four years if you really keep at it. But to understand everything, you need ten years at least, because you know when you when you speak, you can choose what you, your vocabulary. But if you want to understand, you have to understand, you know, to know all of the vocabulary in order to understand what the other per person is speaking. So uh, maybe for uh, for you, it would probably fast. But for me, from from a European background, you know, it's a completely different language family. But if you know a little bit of Chinese or uh, some some Asian language, then it's probably a little bit more easy. Like I know for, for Chinese or for Japanese, uh, they learn Korean much faster than Europeans or Americans, yeah? because it's the same language family. And there's many many com concepts in common, and especially the Chinese roots. The Korean language also uses a lot of the Chinese root words. So maybe 50% of the Korean vocabulary comes from Chinese root words. So if you know some Chinese, you know, it's very easy to learn Korean words. Because it's just a different pronunciation, yeah, but basically the same root.